Swashbuckle, not going to be enough damage to bring Fortune Soul down. They're going to try and surround the Star. They will be able to leap away, but they get the clip of the Ice Bars. Not going to be able to find any region. Now, Xiao Yu can close the distance as well. He's got multiple wards to bounce off, but he just makes it a high gun. The damage, where is it? They need one more just spell. And Xiao Yu with the shield crash jumping in. It's a big kill to the Slark. He was top of the network, but Neon, they're still nearby to try and catch up some stragglers. Roger to the left side, tries to drop the Echo. He'll still end up dying, but the damage is there for them to turn around onto Enryu. And now this means Exilin. He's got a free fight. No hesitation for the Batrider as he just charges Avatar in the middle. They can now move over to Avatar mode as well as MKS drops a corner. It's important to just make sure that MKS Dyer, dies scanning. consistently without being able to pick up that DKB. Try and waste as much unreliable gold from him as possible. They're just Look pinging it out. They're saying, hey, what's this ancient Thunderhide doing walking over this way? Fall behind it. You the start the positioning of Ser. Not much committed. An Ice Blast, which has got 60 second cooldown at level one. Excellent, might see Avatar mode short. Yeah, he gets a jump. He need to drag him towards Roger's location, but the stun lock gets a little bit too late. Great timing out of Avatar mode. He's going to jump in the river. The madman lands the coil on to two. He gets the kill. And now they got the fall from Henry Lee. A beautiful jump in. They'll still lose Avatar mode. But maybe Neon can turn this back around with two members going out of the decks as Henry Yu runs into the Earth Shaker. But where's the fall? Fortune Soul is nowhere nearby. He's coming the charge in. He's got the rolling thunder. Okay, are they going to go Roche? Hmm. Oh. Uh, not so confident in that that'll be all too far. They're not too close to try and protect the clockwork. I don't know if Chen wants to use the hand of God this time as well to keep him alive and play hard. He's taking through a lot of spells. Up to the high gun though, they get the corner into the ice blast. The Slark's in trouble and Xiao Yu just jumps inside the corner. No messing around. They're looking to take the Slark and now the puck out of the team fighters rushes in. The Echo Slap to hold Avatar mode into place and Arashi can swarm towards the last remaining member of the Doom. The last sort of drag him into multiple members of Arashi. Well, disastrous as Enryu jumps in straight towards the bat rider. They go to the lasso, not option for Silent. He's going to make some trouble to deal with the faces. But the BKBs off. They've been able to cut the doom. And now RSG, they might be able to enter the fight. As soon as it expires, MK is going to wind up the corner sphere. Fighting two with efficient chain control. The damage. It's not there at the moment to be able to deal with the park. So maybe Fortune Soul can look to turn it around. It's going to be all onto the Slark, but the damage, it's not there. Now that they can kite the Slark throughout the tree line, he's having some difficulties for the moment. Depth Shroud still to play with one more pounce, but the Echo's not there. They're going to miss on Roger, bounce, but still Fortune so hiding in that little nook, and he'll make it out. Oh my, by the skin of his teeth, the Slark lives. Oh, Avatar Boat's going in for more. You mad, man. This is Fortune, he's hungry. He might be able to get it. Jaggy is well on MKS. Back for the moment. Behold. Down to the south, Fortune Soul. Back. Unable to finish the cure to MKS. Avatar mode's going to move for more. Can make it a bash? bash? And he bashes, yeah, bet. They are MKS. A second hit bash. And Avatar mode should go down fine. Radiant Stars but... are fortified. Last lane being pushed in. Dream file available, but again, no slot means no damage. Shot to the back line, they got the Doom Fall as well, but Meemon's at the base. The corner onto the puck. MKS doesn't have the damage though. So the corner is going to be wasted, and now he's on the wrong side of the fissure. He's still got the agent to play with, and the damage is just not there. Alatomo is going to try and deal with the supports instead. They're the targets they might be able to bring down. But the ultimates have expired. The Doom's on cooldown. The Chen's gone for the face of the earth. And now the puck soon to join him six feet under as Arashi. We'll have to go through him one more time to close out this game. They might even be able to... Yeah, so far. Radiant Multiple times top. Clockwork That's just top. hooks in into his death, Radiant basically. Radiant even top. just getting the, uh, before Radiant the cog was even top. able to be dropped That's down, top. being able to get that stun through onto it. It's just been a fantastic performance again. Yeah, go. Bon bon. They're going to They're going to try, uh, but... They block the hook shot. <laughs> <laughs> so the clock decides to run into the middle. They will kill Roger on the back line. Right in the middle. That's where the damage is being dealt. Onto the Slark, who does not have a buyback. 
Avatar mode is trying to make as much space as possible for the park, but the creeps are inside. Arashi is turning towards the objective. In fact, they want some kills as well to be able to celebrate this first series victory of the GI-11 regional qualifiers as Arashi will come out on top in 2-0 fashion.